What's up guys, so if you're wondering why I'm doing a mini review for such a highly rated player, it's because of two reasons. Number one, with the draft coming so soon, you know, I wanted to get all these players off the list as fast as possible because I wanted to do a, a review for so many of those draft players coming up, so I had to speed this up. And the second reason is because I have played against uh, LaMichael James so much in the past week. It's just ridiculous, so after playing against him so much, you know, the way he plays against me, it pretty much confirmed the way he played for me you know I wanted to make sure that that's exactly how he played and that's exactly how he did play trust me so with all that information that I already had that definitely did help speed up this review so anyways here we go campus legend LaMichael James 97 overall speed run style 5 foot 9 98 speed 99 agility agility 98 ball carry 96 juke 71 truck 96 carry 99 excel and 98 elusiveness also has an 88 catch and a uh, 73 stiff arm obviously not a power back Oh, and also, I did play six games with him, so trust me, I definitely feel that I play with him enough. And also, in all those six games, I just abused him. I hardly passed the ball. I just ran, 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 called timeouts. So trust me, I got everything I needed to see from him. So anyways, enough about the stats. Let me show you what he did on the field. So of course, when you play with a Michael James, the first thing you want to try out, of course, is that juke, that spin, the agility. And even though, you know, you would assume that that's what he did the best, but actually, statistically, there is something that he did better on the field, for me at least, than juking and spinning, which we'll get to later. But right here, just to show juke, he can definitely juke and spin. And, you know, there were times when I just hit the hole and I could have been gone, you know, for like a 90-yard touchdown or so. But I decided to, you know, curve inside, you know, to take on the uh, linebackers just to test out that juke. So trust me, 98 speed is very difficult to catch in the open field. And right here, his hands, don't worry about his hands. 88 catch is nice, but there were a few times where he did uh, did drop a few passes in traffic, you know, he, when the linebacker would slap it out. So I always say don't throw to your running backs in traffic, but if they're wide open like this right here, don't be afraid to do it. Besides, leave that up to your wide receivers. His carry rating, now, yes, so many guys have told me, you know, I should be putting disclaimers on my videos for ground and pound because I do have a 90 plus ground and pound. So even though he did not fumble a single time out of like nine hit sticks, I definitely feel that he still wouldn't fumble that much for you anyways. Not to say that he won't fumble. I'm just saying he won't fumble, you know, as much anyways. But anyways, as far as that goes, um, very dependable there. Now this right here is what confirmed it. Like in my mind, going down the first hit, when I play against him, I'm not even worried because I know that my linebackers will take him down about 95% of the time on the first hit. So this really did confirm it. And I did have to pull back some of these highlights. You know, well, not, I guess, technically low lights because these are the bad plays. But trust me, he will go down the first hit plenty of time. So if you want to make, you know, uh, 20, 30 yard gains, you, you're going to have to earn them most of the time. Now, I say most of the time. Because, like I said, statistically, there was something that he did do best, you know, instead of juking and spinning. And it was this right here, breaking the first tackle. Now, I'm not, now, even though uh, technically I say that this is what he did best, I'm not saying that he's the best at doing it. Believe me, he did not do this more than he got down on the first hit. I would say he broke like maybe uh, nine tackles on his own, but he went down like maybe 17 times, you know, on the first hit. So, technically, he did do this best, but, it, you know, it's, he was definitely not the best at it. Which is why I say that you may have more success with a Michael James if you're like an all pro, you know, going up against the, the mid tier guys. If you're going up against the top tier guys like Shay's uh, the position here, Shay Zier and Barr and, and Sean Lee, you might not have as you know as much success. But if you're going up against the mid tier guys, you'll have much more success then. But anyways, the Michael James was definitely a fun card to play with. Anyways, guys, that's gonna wrap up this review. My final thoughts: Do I think he's worth 130 thousand? I definitely feel he's worth like uh, like maybe like 85 thousand. And as you can see right here on paper, he definitely pretty much beats AP at everything. But I would much prefer or definitely prefer AP over Michael James. And same thing with David Johnson. You know, he beats him at everything pretty much except trucking and stiff arming. And if I had to choose, I would prefer David Johnson because David Johnson can pretty much do everything James can do. And then some, you know, like trucking and stiff arming. He's only a little slower. He's much taller, you know, so... I mean, I'm not saying James is a bad card. Of course, I'm not going to say that. He definitely can offer a lot. But I feel that David Johnson and AP, even though on paper, you know, they don't seem as good. Trust me, I feel that, that they are much better. Well, not much better, but definitely can offer more. Top 5? No. Top 10? Uh, maybe. You know what? I would say he's top 10 if you're like going to, you know, if you're in like an all pro or pro. 
I feel that's obviously where he's going to have much more success because, like I said, when I play against him, my linebackers tackle him one-on-one -on -one so effortlessly. So I feel if you're going up against the lower tier guys, maybe he would have much more success. But anyways, guys, that's going to wrap this up. My next review on defense is going to be that Xavier Rhodes final edition. And on offense, I'm just going to wait uh, for the draft. Most likely it's going to be that um, Ezekiel Elliott or Derrick Henry. One of those guys should be next. But anyways, I'll see you boys then, man. Peace.